Administrators at one Bradley County school say children are forced to attend classes in leaky buildings not equipped to handle hundreds of students. And tonight, county commissioners say they're on their second attempt to fund renovations. News Channel 9's Hannah Lawrence has the details. School officials say problems like these have been getting worse over the last 10 years. Tonight, county commissioners say they're proposing a new property tax that could pay for a new school. Peeling paint, moist walls, and overflowing sidewalks when it rains. All problems Principal Richie Stevenson says he wants to get rid of. There's been, there have been plans discussed for about five years now. Students have to walk outside to class even when it's cold or when water like this gets in the way. If where it's a blowing rain, or if, if there's any type of storm activity, uh, it's really hard to get from one building to the other without getting your feet really wet. Bradley County commissioners say they tried to secure funds for a new school building through a hotel motel tax, but the proposal was recently withdrawn in the state Senate. Education would have been covered. Now, Commissioner Thomas Cry says they're trying a new way to get the money. Unfortunately, we now are faced with no options. I have proposed that we have the appropriate property tax increase for the construction. Cry says his proposed property tax increase would be in the ballpark of 8 to 10 cents. That is still in the works to make sure that we don't make it any higher than what we need to. But Stevenson says this building is something students need. It's just really, you know, not fair to the students that they're not able to change classes at times without just really getting wet. Commissioner Cry says he'll present his proposal in the work session on Monday. For News Channel 9, I'm Hannah Lawrence. Cry says the last property tax increase in Bradley County was 15 years ago.